This video is about if you create your own presets or want to create your own banks. Well, it's the case that Bluetooth uses the original bank system, which means that one bank can hold up to 128 presets. If you go up here, you have the bank manager and you see we have all kinds of banks and sometimes you see a bank which has a lot of default, but that's the, because there are 128 presets in one bank. So for instance, bank uh, pad one is totally full with 128 presets. Okay, if you create your own preset and you save this preset, in normal cases you go up here and then you say save preset. And this goes to this folder here, Bluetooth presets, which is in documents, Ropapen Bluetooth presets, or on the Mac applications, Ropapen Bluetooth presets. And there you save the preset. Of course, then you still don't have this preset in a bank. So the best thing you could do is simply create a new bank. And you can do this in the bank manager. You go down here and you say new, and you say a new bank. For instance, 00, zero my presets. Okay. You see here, 00, zero my presets, and you see the bank is totally empty. Now, to fill up this uh, bank with your presets, then simply go to load. You can do it also down here, load. And then, for instance, pick all your presets you want to have into this bank and yeah, pick multiple of them and simply open them. And you see they are inside your bank. And of course, don't forget to save this bank. So once you loaded it into the bank, you need to save it because otherwise it's gone. So here I click on save and this is then save bank. And of course, okay, let's scroll down a bit more. You see my presets save. It says, oh, would you replace this bank? You say, okay, yes. So then all the presets are now in this folder. So when I go to another folder and then back to this folder, you see all the presets are there. So this is how Bluetooth works. Well, it also could be the case that you are in a particular bank and you change presets inside of it. So maybe you added this sound or that sound and then, uh, Keep in mind, if you are working in a, a bank which already has these presets, that you still need to save this preset or the whole bank with a new name. So, for instance, if you change a lot of these presets, it's wise to rename it. So I could rename now here this preset. I could rename it to... Uh, White Movie XX. Uh, but then I need to save this bank, otherwise it's gone. So if I press now save bank again, I make this also with a different name. So 00, zero pads 01. Then you see it pops up here with this change preset. Because if you don't uh, save it as a different bank, it, the bank stays the same. So here, you see? This is the original one. There I changed this White Movie uh, 3 into White Movie XX. And I did not save this bank, so it's still the same as the factory patches. So um, if you change these factory patches, always save the bank with a new name. So just like I did 00, zero Pets 1. So, um, so this is a bit about the um, Bluetooth system. Still, um, you uh, also can save a preset as a single file, like I did uh, mention before. So uh, save preset, and then you see these are single files, and therefore they are also called FXP, so .FXP, which is a preset. And saving a bank, save bank, it's very down here, save bank, you see it's FXP, and a bank always holds 128 presets.